bringing your hands out to the side, fingertips lightly touching the floor. And feeling yourself grounding, sitting bones over heels, making any little adjustments with your inner body to feel that. Letting your shoulders be soft, feeling the shoulder blades sliding down the back and just tucking your chin slightly, feeling the head move back until you feel that alignment all the way up to the base of the skull. And just taking a few deep breaths here, letting your fingers connect with the earth and preparing to move into a few rounds of our chi breath. So this breath being very grounding, very calming, allowing us to, if we're feeling scattered, anxious, fearful, allowing us to draw our energy in once again, feel really centered and just slow everything right down. So you can use this when you wake up in the morning to get that energy going, or you can use it at those times when you are feeling stressed and a little strung out. So just ask yourself when this is needed and, and bring it into your practice. So when you feel ready to begin, just letting your palms turn up. And as you inhale, keeping the shoulders soft, elbows soft, slowly let the hands drift up, palms open, gathering that chi from the environment around you. And at the top of your breath, fingertips come to face each other, even touching. And as you exhale, drawing the hands down through the center line of the body. Feel, imagine, have the intention of drawing that energy into the body at the bottom of your breath, seating it into the lower belly, into the dantian. All the way out with the breath, drawing the navel back to the spine. And inhale. Shoulders soft, elbows soft, smiling, and exhale all the way up. Long, slow inhale, long, slow exhale. And as you move, as you continue, really feeling the sensation of the space around you in the palms of the hands. Be aware of gathering that chi, that energy from the outer environment and connecting it within. Shoulders soft, connecting heels and sitting bones grounded. So continue as many rounds of this as you like until you feel you are in that state of balance, state of peace or at least a lot calmer than when you began. And if you're doing this in the morning, just imagining that you are really topping yourself up, preparing yourself to have everything you need to move out into the day with. Feel sensation in the lungs, that organ that receives the breath, the chi from the outer environment, like a conductor of electricity and sending that energy out through the body. When you've completed the rounds that you wish at the end of your final exhalation, just bringing your palms to rest on top of the thighs and just sitting, being a witness to the breath, sensation, any other distractions. Whoosh. Lie down. Lie down. some gentle stretching into the upper body so let's just bring the right hand out to the side you see what I have to deal with Raya push go away let the elbow let the elbow be soft keeping the sitting bones grounded and we'll just let the arm come over wrapping over the head just gazing up towards the sky that left sitting bone grounded, feeling a nice opening through the side body into the armpit and the arm, breathing into the belly. And 
and releasing drifting over to the other side left hand down softening into the elbow bringing the right arm over letting the arm drape softening as much as you need as you keep that right hip grounded Feel that lovely opening through the side body into the arm into the chest nourishing the heart the lungs And release come back to center and bringing your left hand to the left knee right hand behind fingertips to the ground shoulders down lengthening up exhale coming into a very simple seated twist breathing into the spine And let the arms drift up all the way around right hand down left hand behind and again shoulders down staying seated grounded inhale lengthen exhale you can bring this all the way into the muscles of the eyes keeping your gaze behind you Just bringing the knees a little bit apart. If it's uncomfortable sitting like this, you can take a block or two, bring it underneath the seat just to take the pressure off the hips and knees a little bit more. Otherwise, just sitting in stays of it with the knees just a little bit apart there. We're going to let the arms drift up. So this is a nice little upper body wake up this morning. And then letting the arms come forward and crossing the right elbow over the left, coming into Rudra Asana or Eagle Pose, but just with the arms. So let the shoulders drop down. Keep the flame lit in the right fingers. Let the elbows drift up. Now, if you're not coming into a full bind and you're part way, that's okay. But find those points of contact and then let go between those. Shoulders come down, shoulder blades tuck away into the upper back. And just lifting the elbows to you feel that lovely release through the upper back and letting the hands just move away so we're not forcing we're not pushing we're really exploring and playing those beautiful edges feeling into sensation when you find that place closing your eyes breathing into the belly keeping the upper body stable and just letting the elbow drift elbows drift over to the left so you come a little deeper into that right side but keeping the torso facing forward come back to center and release let the arms come down Pause for a moment, just feel into what's releasing, what's unfolding there. And then we'll let the arms drift up. And they might want to drift up all of their own now. And coming across to bring the left over the right into your bind, keeping the left fingers the flame lit. Shoulders come down, shoulder blades in, staying seated, sitting bones to heels, lifting up the elbows, exploring this edge first, and letting the elbows letting the hands move away and finding your way into the edge that you need to sit with this morning and breathing into that deep belly breathing and now let's bring the elbows over to the right coming a little deeper into that left side keep the shoulders down shoulder blades in and grounded through the seat. A couple more breaths here. And come back to 
center. Release, just let the arms drift out and fingers by the side. Let's let the arms come all the way up and you might feel that sense of them floating up that little bit more. We'll bring the little fingers touching and we're going to bring the palms of the hands to rest on the upper back. Feeling the palms rest here. Keep your shoulder blades down and lifting through the elbows. Take them care not to throw your belly forward. Keep the tailbone gently tucked, shoulders down, feeling that release into the arms. If you have a dog like mine, just witness. <laughs> Go away, Raya. Bush. Go. Bush. Lay down. A few more breaths here. A little extra entertainment this morning. <laughs> Go away, Raya. Bush. Go on. And then let's, let's release. Let the arms drift up. And arms come down. Beautiful. Let's bring the, the knees a little further apart. Let the arms come forward. Shoulders soft. And we're going to turn the fingers coming facing down. And then bring the fingers down to the mat, opening up into the forearm. Letting those shoulders drop. And rather than lifting out of your seat, feel those sitting bones rounding down, connecting to the heels. Letting the shoulders soften, elbows soften. I feel that lovely release into the inside of the forearms. My dog is really distracting me this morning. Breathe. Breathing deeply into the belly. As many breaths here as you like. Great little series and an abbreviated series but a starter this morning little series to keep everything happy, particularly if you work at a desk all day, you might create a lot of tension in the upper body, neck and shoulders. So working into these lines of the body is really beneficial to keep everything flowing and balanced. There's more that we can add to this over time. And releasing, beautiful. Arms drift forward, bring your knees back together. And just opening and closing through the hands. And we're going to bring the arms wide, bringing the arms back, opening up through the chest. So have the hands at shoulder height. And let the arms come in. Give yourself a big squeeze, big loving squeeze. Set you up for the day, send yourself lots of love. And from here, I suggest moving into one of the other practices that I've shared over the last week. Or well, this may be all that you feel you need this morning. So if it's all that you feel you need, or if you choose another practice, then returning to Seiza. Perhaps you've taken rest in Shavasana for a while as well. So then ending up in Seiza once again, coming back to recenter within the body, taking your very important moment for setting your intention for the day, again, day ahead. And if you've been also practicing writing down those four actions, those actions that reflect your higher values, those actions that you can take through the day ahead to really keep you aligned with your flow, with your true nature. So once you've done that, once you feel ready to move out into the day, and remember, end your practice how you wish to move into your day. Just bringing your hands together. Taking a nice deep breath in, Anjali Mudra. Give your dog a lick and bowing forward. Into. Oh my goodness. Have a great day. <laughs>